Hi, welcome back. This is Gene at the Oak Furniture Shop. If you've been following these videos, you know that we're making this TV stand for Warren. And so I have this solid oak TV stand top here and it's ready to be profiled. And I just wanted to take you through the steps that we take uh, to put a really nice profiled edge. The first thing that we do is I use this router to round over the top and the bottom. And uh, as you can see, that's already done. The next thing I do is is I profile it. And what I have is a Ryobi, Ryobi 3 horsepower variable speed router. And what I've done with this, I mean most people think, and I used to think, that when you're routering you want the router bit to go as fast as possible to get a nice cut. And that is not true. I mean what I've learned is the larger diameter the router bit, the more you want to slow it down to get a nice cut. So I have this set at about 12,000 RPMs and that gives me a pretty decent cut. Now for anyone who's ever done any routering, especially with a larger profile, it's something that happens invariably when you're, you know, you're supposed to take the router and go into the wood like this and the router bit's turning like this. So if you hit a piece of a uh, part of the wood that has a little, you know, just a little weakness in it, you can rip the whole side out of it. And that's happened to me many, many, many times over the years. So I, I've learned a little trick and it's called a climb cut. And you'll, you'll see me do this. But basically what I do is I start from this end and I go the wrong way. And I go the wrong way, you got to hold the router pretty tight, but I go the wrong way and I keep the router bit like about an eighth of an inch away from the wood. So it's not taking a full cut, but it's taking like three quarters of the wood is being pulled away this way. And that way you're just not ripping out the wood. And then when you come back, you can lay the router bit right against the wood and you're just taking off a little bit of wood and that gives you a really nice clean profile. And I have never had a panel rip out doing it that way. Once it's profiled, I have to sand it because we want this to have a really nice sanded edge, especially across the end grain, so the end grain doesn't get dark. So my two weapons I use there, I have this door roller, and I use this for the, for the beaded edge, and on another router I have a, uh, it's, it's more of a bowl nose edge, and this works really well for <coughs> sanding the bowl nose. I know it looks easy, but it takes a lot of practice so you don't bust your knuckles on this. And then I made another sander. And this is basically just a star sander. And you'll see this will get right down into that router edge, into the little nooks and crannies, and that'll give you a really nice clean profile and it sands up real nice and then you get a really nice finish on it. So let's do it. Let's let's make this into a panel. really nice it's nice and smooth it's going to probably take and cut this with the same piece of sandpaper to blend everything together 
And it's almost done. After this, all I have to do is I'll, I'll put this through my wide belt sander one more time to clean up the top. And then I have a DA sander that I use to just take every imperfection out of the top uh, that would ever show up. So it's just a perfect panel. And the very last thing, I've already done this to this panel, but the very last thing is it gets my stamp and my signature. If I have made the piece of furniture, it has my signature on it. If I haven't made it, it doesn't have my signature. Thanks again.